Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's animation tutorial, let's start with a very basic movement and animate a softball bouncing. This video is not for beginners. You must know your way around the animation workspace. If you are new to my channel, please make sure to watch this video. I will add the link in the description box and add a card as well. This video was created a while back. It explains the timeline, the onion skin and all the basics of animation you need to know when starting. It also shows you how to personalize and save your animation workspace. Alright, before I start, let's make sure that we have a few things ready. Activate your brush tool. Turn off the pen pressure and grab a pencil brush. As a quick reminder, to get to your saved animation workspace, click on the workspace button located in the right upper corner of the interface. Select your workspace to open it. Click anywhere on the interface to close the Windows panel. Create a new layer above the background. Rename it Path. The layer is automatically pinned on the timeline. However, in this case, we don't need it uh, to be there. So make sure to unpin uh, the layer from the timeline. Create another layer and uh, rename it Preview. Again, unpin the layer from the timeline. Create a new layer and this time name it Animation. Here we want to see the layer in the timeline, so we are not going to unpin it. The reason why I made you unpin the two first layers is that they are not part of the animation. As an advice, only show your animation layers in the timeline. The less layers, the better. If you show everything, it can get messy and confusing very quickly. Click on the path layer to activate it. Using your brush, draw the path of a bounce. When done, decrease the opacity of the layer. Moving on to the next layer, click on it to activate it. This is going to be your preview. Before you start a drawing, maybe choose another color in the color wheel. Let's talk about this for a minute. Start with the top of each bounce and draw the ball as round as possible. The ball looks round because when at the top of the bounce, the speed of the ball is very slow. Now that we are done, let's draw the ball falling. If you know a little physics, you will remember that when you watch an object fly away from a distance, the object appears flatter as its speed increases. Therefore, to reflect in the animation that the speed of the ball increases as it falls, try to stretch a little the ball. Finally, imagine that we are dealing with a soft ball. As a ball hits the ground, it is going to squish on the ground. Alright, I think we have done all the prepping we could do, so let's start the animation. But before we continue, make sure to decrease the opacity of your layer. Click on the animation layer to activate it. Maybe increase the opacity of your brush if needed. In the timeline, right click on the very first frame box. Choose a Create Blank Frame. 
As soon as you create a blank frame, you will notice a little play icon on your layer. This icon tells you the layer is now in animation mode. Using your path and a preview as a reference, you are going to draw the first ball. Click on the next frame to activate it. To duplicate your frame, you can right-click on the frame and choose a Create Duplicate Frame. Or you can choose to use this shortcut button located on the timeline. If you hover on it, you'll see it says Add Duplicate Frame. So let's click on it. Your frame has been duplicated. Grab the Transform tool and move your duplicated ball. Before the continue, let's activate the onion skin. This way we'll be able to see our previous frame. As you can see, I have coded my previous frames to be shown in red. We are going to leave the transform tool activated until the end of the animation. All right, let's keep moving. Click on the next frame box and hit the duplicate button. Grab the ball and move it. As you can see, the preview and the path are super helpful. It's really making the process easy. Don't forget to rotate the ball as needed. In the Tool Options Docker, click on one side anchor. Now stretch the ball a little. You may resize the ball if needed. Now you are going to repeat this process over and over until the end. So now that we are done, let's get back to the first frame and maybe draw a few lines. Click on the animation settings menu. Here it shows that the animation starts at frame 0 and ends at frame 100. The 100 is a default number. So since our animation has 18 frames, we are going to type 18 in the input box. Now hit the play button. As you can see, the speed is way too fast. By the way, I think it's time for us to turn off the preview and the path layers. Holding the shift key, click on the very first box frame and then click on the very last box frame. This will select all the frames. Now right click. Choose Hold Frames. Select Insert Multiple Hold Frames. We'll leave it at two holding frames. Click OK. As you can see, it has created two empty frames between each frame. The animation ends now at frame 54. So if you click in the Animation Settings menu, you will see that the number of frames has been automatically updated. Let's hit Play again. We have decreased the speed of our animation. Please understand that there are other ways to decrease the speed. We'll use them in other tutorials. We are done for today. Give it a try and see what you can create. Maybe color your animation and add a background. I will see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful week. Au revoir et à bientôt.